Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about PHP tags and how you can use them in your PHP programming. So PHP tags are something that enclose your PHP code and they start with uh, this uh, word which is less than and a question mark and PHP and end with the question mark and the greater than sign. And whatever your PHP code that you want to put in any operation such as calling a function or adding to uh, integers or dividing them sits right in between these uh, two tags so this is the starting tag and this is the ending tag and just to show you an example if i have dollar x assigned as 10 and dollar y is assigned as 20 and the next operation i'm going to do is dollar z equal to dollar x plus dollar y and i'm going to echo the dollar z the end result that would be printed on the browser screen or on the command line would be 10 plus 20 which would be 30. so basically the interpret the interpreter of the php interprets uh, these statements one by one a line by line and tries to make sense out of it and do the required operations so let me show you an example of how to do it if you have a php editor any editor will do and you open a file called as test.php in there and just copy this php code up there okay so as you can see the uh, editor recognizes the php tags and marks them in a different color compared to anything else and this is the starting tag and the ending tag and the code lies in between these two tags so now let us test this thing over here uh, the file that I have created it lies in this location dev slash test slash uh, test dot php if I'm gonna run it okay I have to save it first and then I'm going to run it once again so as you can see the output has been 30 now this is very useful because if you have uh, HTML code or JavaScript code or some other kind of code uh, included in the PHP file the interpreter would interpret only these lines and nothing else outside this code so if you have something like A hyperlink added to the file and uh, along with the same code uh, that remains from the previous example let's see what happens now so in hyperlink has been uh, put on the browser has been echoed to the browser along with the result so nothing happened to the HTML uh, content of the file while uh, PHP code has been compiled and uh, processed you can put this code anywhere in between the HTML so if you have for example inside the paragraph if you want to do a PHP code all you need to do is open the tag and let's say echo hello and close the tag don't forget that and then that's it let's see and save it and let's see what happens now so hello code is uh, outputted from this statement that we just placed if you forget to put the uh, end tag you will get an error so always put the end tag if the file is a PHP file for example you don't need to enter the ending tag in the last block so for example if you have a last block it says and you normally would close the ending tag but in this case only the last ending tag should be left empty or should be and should not be included because it's quite possible that during the development process you might 
add the ending tag and then add additional characters by mistake and this would be considered invalid file and normally it is very difficult to find out the error in the process so I'll just take it out and uh, I do not add the ending tag just put the semicolon save let's see it works works perfectly that is the only uh, caveat you should have while you're working in PHP another uh, point is can we use this tag in smaller um, notation like not including the PHP tag but just the question mark and the uh, less than sign yes we can and uh, this is also a valid PHP tag but you will have to make some settings in the PHP INI configuration more details you can always go to this uh, PHP tag manual this is one of the best uh, sites you can have for PHP reference and understanding and that's how you put the tags and use them I hope you like it do let me know if there's any question thanks for watching